and welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to calculate the satisfaction with life scale on spss and pspp the satisfaction with life scale is a very popular scale used in the social sciences developed by diner et al it is used to measure as the name suggests satisfaction with life it has five statements okay and uh, these five statements or five items are measured on a five point or uh, seven point scale uh, the highest response which is seven is rated as strongly agree and the lowest response is one and it is rated as uh, strongly disagree okay so it has five items and as you as you know in spss and pspp we have the data view and the variable view this is the variable view where you need to enter those five items uh, you need to also mention them in the label section now let's go back to the data view here so this is the first respondent so let's assume that the first respondent strongly agrees with the first item or the first statement you can check the link for the uh, five statements that are there it's available in, in the scale uh, to the second uh, item he does agree but to a lesser extent let's say five uh, five maybe uh, six and then seven okay these are just random numbers so let's assume this is the first respondent and this is the response that they, this person has given okay right so uh, in this manner we need to enter the data for all the respondents so in the next part of the video i'll be showing you how to total this score yeah and after we total the score uh, how we basically interpret the data and how we can present it okay how we can present the results okay so now that we have entered the responses uh, we have a total of 10 respondents of course in real life you need to have a bigger sample um, but let's assume we have 10 response uh, respondents and uh, we need to total the score now to find out the level of satisfaction of the respondents uh, so for this what we need to do is we need to go to transform we need to click on compute uh, let me just reset it to show how it looks you need to enter all the items so the first item plus the second item plus the third item plus the fourth item and the fifth item plus the fifth item so all the five items are in now we need to give the target variable we will call it tot sw uh, ls total satisfaction with life scale and on the type one label we give a proper name we can say total satisfaction with life click continue and then click ok so as soon as you click ok uh, in the output file you'll see execute of course that means the total has been done and here in the uh, data view you can see the total uh, satisfaction with life score now this is the total score this isn't exactly the classification as such so in the next part of the video i will show you how to classify them into the different categories as mentioned in the scale okay okay so now we will categorize them into the different categories as mentioned in the scale for the categories you can check the link again in the description for how to classify the different uh, scores but here i'll just show you how to classify them using spss and pspp so for this we need to again go to transform we need to record into different variables now we just put in total satisfaction with life in here select it click on old and new values so once we select that uh, we need to give it a range so the range has been provided in the scale already so i'm just repeating it here so the first uh, range is 31 to 35 this will be coded as one okay this is extremely satisfied actually so click on add so what i'm basically telling the computer is uh, record anyone who scored between 31 to 35 into one into the first group the second group would be 26 to 30 yeah 26 to 30 that would be group two group three would be 21 to 25 that would be group three and group four is actually just one number which is 20 that's group four 
group 5 again we have 15 to 19 we call it group 5 add click on add then group 6 would be 10 to 14 the group 6 click on add and then we have group 7 which is 5 to 9 that's group 7 click on add so i've recoded them so 31 to 35 would be 1 26 to 30 would be 2 21 to 25 is 3 20 would be 4 uh, 15 to 19 is 5 10 to 14 is 6 and 5 to 9 is 7 okay right now once we're done with that we click on continue and uh, if you go back to the, uh, the, da the data file you need to give it a name okay we'll call it uh, as I told you it's a level it's a categorization so level of satisfaction so we can say LVL and SAT that would be the name and the label would be level of satisfaction okay Okay, click on change and click on OK. So now here you can see a new variable has been created. It's called level of satisfaction. We go to the variable view. We are not yet done because we need to uh, uh, give it the values, right? So we need to click on value labels, double click here. And we need to remember the categorization that we had given. So if you remember the first category, which was 31 to 35, that is actually extremely satisfied extremely satisfied okay we click on add then the second group right is satisfied that is between 26 to 30 remember so that is satisfied okay then the third one the third group is slightly satisfied okay And the fourth group is neutral. Remember the 20 score? Yeah, that is neutral. Neutral. And the fifth group is uh, slightly dissatisfied. Okay. Uh, then the sixth group is dissatisfied. And the seventh group is extremely dissatisfied and then we click on ok so that way we have categorized them into these seven levels now let's go ahead and quickly do a percentage analysis for this we need to go on go on to analyze click on descriptive statistics frequencies uh, select level of satisfaction pull it in uh, just click on ok so here you can see the distribution of respondents based on the level of satisfaction in our study the single largest majority of the respondents that is about 40 percent are slightly satisfied this is followed by those who are slightly dissatisfied and those who are satisfied and the least number of respondents that is only one respondent actually is neutral okay so we do not have anyone who's extremely dissatisfied and we do not have anyone who's extremely satisfied either okay so this is the distribution of the respondents and this is how you can present your data you can present it in the form of a chart or as a table and interpret it in the way i just did it first you start with the the bigger number the bigger percentage then you move on to the smaller one okay so that's about this video i hope this video was useful okay i am leaving the link to the scale in the description okay please read the instructions carefully before you use the scale okay thanks for watching and bye for now